My name is Charlotte. I'm the manager of the Fraser Valley Trout Hatchery here in Abbotsford. Uh, it's one of the Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC hatcheries. And I'm here with Rodney this morning. We just loaded four trucks of catchable trout to be released in the Lower Mainland. We're standing in front of our new RAS building. Um, it's a recirculating aquaculture system um, that we uh, started constructing in the summer of 2020. And the first fish were released from this um, facility fall of 2022. Fraser Valley Hatchery releases um, just over 90,000 catchable trout every year. And traditionally, before we had this new facility, we would transfer juvenile trout to our partner, DFO Chehalis River Hatchery. And they would grow them out to catchable size and we would drive out there and load them up and release them because we didn't have the capacity at our site here to grow all those fish to catchable size. We chose the RAS system to, uh, to build for our increase in capacity um, for several reasons. Um, first one is it's got a much smaller environmental footprint. We, the water in the system is reused over and over again, so it uh, has little to no impact on the local aquifer. It's also more efficient in terms of production costs because we can shorten up the rearing cycle. So what would take 10 months to produce a catchable trout, we can now do in four to five months. The system is designed as a closed circuit. Um, as I said earlier, the water is reused um, and we have control over the water and the inside system so we can produce a better quality trout for BC anglers. So we're in the tank room um, of the RAS. Uh, we've got six 20-foot circulars here. We can raise at one time for our spring catchables 60,000 catchable trout. They are transferred in here at about 10 grams and they're released at 225 grams. That's our target size. Now we're in the tank room where the water is treated um, for reuse. The first treatment of the water is through the drum filter where suspended solids are removed. The water then flows into the bioreactor where ammonium is converted to nitrate by bacteria. Uh, the water then has CO2 removed from it and it's reoxygenated and then it goes through the UV sterilization process and then back into the ponds of fish. Uh, we're currently operating at about 98.5% um, reuse. Thank you for watching today. I hope that gives you a little bit of insight in what we do here at Fraser Valley Hatchery. If you would like more information, please visit our website, gofishbc.com.